All right. Well, hello there. Um, so I just wanted to kind of make this video because I enjoy Kerbal Space Program, first of all. And uh, um, the game has a lot of educational value. Um, so I think, you know, sometimes you can go into this game uh, and it's a little bit, uh, there's a lot involved. So um, I, I've just heard a few people say, you know, they kind of go in there and, and uh, start playing and then just kind of push it aside because um you know you're not you're not immediately out there um flying around and uh doing all the cool stuff but um so there's a quite a bit of trial and error to this game uh and uh it takes a little bit of patience but for those who just want to get in there and just play the game and uh get from a to b uh and uh do the fun stuff I, i'm just going to try to make this as simple as possible so um bear in mind i'm not a kerbal space program expert so um if uh, i make mistakes uh you know feel free to let me know and I, I do that all the time with this trust me with this game so um but um you know uh just don't uh, expect perfection that's not uh that is not uh possible for me for this game but um Anyway, so quick overview. Um, obviously, it's a space simulator game. Uh, um, you've got the ability to build all kinds of rockets. Uh, you have uh, space planes. Um, you can design satellites, orbital fueling stations, rovers, uh, whatever whatever you're interested in doing. And uh, you can go out and explore the, um, the solar system here, um, Kerbal solar system. Uh, so out here in the background, you see you got um, Kerbin out here, which is the Earth's equivalent. Uh, and uh, it's obviously a, it's a scaled down version um, and uh, the radius is about a tenth of the Earth's radius uh, I'm not sure the exact number I think it's three, like 370 miles something like that but um, uh, it's roughly a tenth of the size of the Earth's radius and uh, um, to compensate for that it's actually um, 10 times denser than um earth so it's kind of it's kind of cool how they uh the, the realism that was been put into this game the, the physics engine is really good um i really really like how this game was put together and uh i um just a quick overview of the uh the main menu and the settings menu i know just at the very least here's how you uh, get in out of full screen mode uh, i know it took me yeah, maybe five seconds to figure it out, but um, just just to give you an idea. Now the uh, input here, uh, if you if you have a controller, you can uh, go ahead and uh, map out your controls there if you want to do so, uh, customize it however you want it, and uh, you can apply your settings and everything there. So um, that being said, uh, you got your add-ons and mods here. If you're a modder, uh, then um, this is a great game for modding. Uh, Squad is an, does an excellent job of uh, support for this kind of stuff. So um, uh, that's a really also a really cool aspect of it. A lot of free reign in this game. So um, moving on, we will uh, um, here in this menu we have um, the training and scenarios uh, tabs. Uh, the training. Uh, uh, tutorials here are um, excellent way to get started if you if you start from the beginning and work your way down um, you may not be successful on your first try but hey, it's okay um, it, trust me it's trial and error with everyone uh, we all we all crash and burn here every now and then uh, but um once you get the hang of it I'll give you all the basics and uh, to give you a good working knowledge of the game and uh, how to get going uh, you will see like I said before there's a little more complexity to this game than uh, some other some others uh, you don't just jump in and jump in the cockpit and you're flying uh, a little bit of design involved and all that but um uh, in the scenarios menu you have a few pre um pre-made design uh excuse me pre-made scenarios that uh you can you can uh, do some really interesting stuff here like asteroid redirect missions uh you can uh do an eva uh on duna which is the equivalent of uh the mars equivalent and uh, you can, uh, you know, operate in a rover um, and so forth. So uh, it'll just give you a good feel of um, doing things that uh, you may not get to do just yet. Um, 
and uh, I recommend those. So um, as far as the game modes, we have three game modes, Science Career and Sandbox. The Career mode is the bare bones mode where you have um, all basic, uh, um, where you start out with basically nothing and uh, you have to uh, earn funds, reputation, and uh, research science to uh, gain technologies and to expand your space program. Um, and uh, here you have uh, the flags. Uh, you have a, a array of different flags you can choose from, or if you're interested, uh, you can actually design or make your own uh, custom and uh, insert it into the game files. But um, I'm not really going to get into all that stuff uh, at this point. But um, I will later on at some other uh, some other juncture in time. Um, so the science mode here we have. Um, it's really good for uh, beginners if you want to get in kind of acclimate to uh, um, to the career mode. Um, it's a good way to get started uh, with less constraints. Um, and uh, the sandbox mode here we have is obviously a free reign mode with no constraints. Um, and uh, you can go in there and just kind of test things out and uh, I recommend it uh, to, um, you know, if you have uh, different ideas, uh, want to go and see what happens uh, with no repercussions. Um, it's a good way to get get going. So um, we'll go ahead and go into the menu. Um, I have uh, sandbox mode here loading, and uh, um, so like I said, I'm just going to kind of go go right into things, and I'm not I'm not going to uh, bore too much, hopefully. Um, so I uh, here you have to have a quick overlay of your um, your space. Uh, program station here. Um, you got your tracking station here. You can actually uh, go in and, and look at uh, ongoing missions you have and uh, assume control of spacecraft and stuff from in there. Um, the, you got your admin building, uh, your astronaut complex where you can manage your roster, um, your space plane hangar where you can uh, develop uh, and build uh, your aircraft. Um, you got your research and development where you can unlock different technologies and uh, um, basically. Uh, expand your program you know with funds uh, and uh, and uh, experience that you gain from science uh, researched around uh, Kerbin and elsewhere so um, I, back here Hayden is the uh, mission control station and that's where your contracts will be at uh, it mostly it really just applies to a career mode uh, maybe science mode I don't remember but um that's where you will fulfill contracts uh, and get paid up front to uh, knock out certain um, you know, certain uh, events. Uh, so I'll go ahead into the vehicle assembly building. We'll take a look around and then uh, I'll stop there. But um, just a quick overview as you can see the launch pad out from out there. And uh, here's your uh, here's your menu. And uh, uh, up here you can name your uh, rename your, your spacecraft whatever you're building um, uh, you'll see I have some I have some additional parts in here because I have some mods going uh, don't judge me uh, um, but uh, you can uh, you you won't see all this basically uh, unless you have the mods installed uh, there's a few parts packs got uh, space uh, SpaceX or space Y and I have um, Kerbalized um, SpaceX um, and so forth um, among a few others that I can't recall at the moment, but um, uh, you'll see a couple mods down here too. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into the mods again. Uh, a couple of notable ones that I will mention though is uh, Kerbal Engineering. It's a very useful mod. Um, you, it has windows that contain um, pieces of information as far as um, you know your vehicle mass, um, thrust to weight ratio, um, all that stuff can be displayed all at once on one display. And uh, you can kind of uh, use that to uh, um, plan out, uh, you know, whatever mission you're trying to uh, you're trying to knock out. So um, we have the Kerbal Engineering, and then we have um, MechJab. MechJab is uh, is a mod that uh, actually has um, essentially like a navigational um, aid, so it, like an autopilot feature. So it actually uh, uh, you can actually uh, um, have those uh, maneuvers that are that take a little bit of practice uh, actually knocked out for you if you wanted to use that mod. Um, but um, I recommend uh, obviously starting from the beginning and, and 
playing through. But if you're one of those people who want to get in and just play the game, just keep that in mind. It's a good, it's a good mod to jump in there and you'll actually get from A to B. Um, I totally understand if that's the kind of, uh, if that's the kind of uh, gamer you are as far as, uh, you know, these these types of complex builders. But um, now uh, up here you see you can open up. Uh, pre-made files here that are already uh, um, part of the core game and then uh, if you have mods again parts packs they'll show up in here if you put them in the right place um, so uh, you have some vehicles that are already pre-made um, that the VAB that's your uh, your rocket facility and then you have your space plane hangar here um, it's got uh, different rovers and things already in there. So if you want to get in uh, and uh, fly around and play around, uh, that way I highly suggest it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop there, and then uh, the next one we will uh, go into building a basic rocket and uh, just getting out there and uh, getting to the moon. Uh, so thank you very much, and have a good day.